All right, guys, today we're playing some Aatrox top lane into a Renekton. And what we're running this game is a Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, a Bone Plating, and then also the Revitalize. This game, I want to showcase you guys how strong Aatrox is in this patch. Actually, a really, really, really solid top laner. That's all I can say about Aatrox. The further you get into the game and you snowball, the better he gets, in my opinion. If you've been uh, noticing... Oh, that's starting off perfectly. Um, if you've been noticing, um, I've actually got a longsword. And the reason why is because I want to have the maximum sustain possible. Show you why. In short, like longsword is the best like option you can get. Get out of my way. We're going to get that level 2 before he does. Oh, turns out he still got it. Renekton is quite a painful matchup. That guy counters most of all the top laners. Dash is where? Hmm. Decent. He doesn't have the W yet. I'm glad that we got that push. That's going to make things far better for me. Of course, you gotta make sure we stay at like full HP as well. Didn't want to lose that last hit actually. We'll dish out the W. Knockback doesn't really do much because it obviously doesn't. I don't have my abilities at the time, but it does like slight damage. It's the bit. So, the way how Aatrox works in short, like the kind of playstyle that you wanna have is uh, sort of like a poking style. That's not too bad. Yeah, it dashed out of me. So, um, your playstyle is always around like hitting Qs. That's pretty much what it comes down to. You always want to try and hit it from max range. And then hit as multiple as possible, like, uh, within, within that small range where it uh, empowers your damage. That's pretty much what you're always playing around us. They got a Shen Jungle, and he's pathing top side. We got a Shavana pathing top as well. What? What is this? That's the most random flash I have ever seen. What? That was so weird. I mean, this is not bad. I need help though. He needs to help me shove. The wave is too massive. He's gonna dash on me, isn't he? Ah, uh, yeah, I wanted to hit my passive. I was afraid that Katarina was going to jump as well. As it turns out, she didn't jump on me, so I could just walk out there. This is actually quite unfortunate. Really unfortunate for me. That could have been played. That could have definitely been played, like, slightly smoother. For sure. But yeah, he's got, like, two kills out of that, too. Not too happy with this. Double buff. About to lose the play too. Hmm. Got it. He'll likely get that reset. We can't really fight or enact him if he's got a double buff. Hmm. Yeah, I suspected. Well, we better keep that Q. There's a little tiny trick with uh, Aatrox Q where if you don't use it, you actually get it back up faster because every time you um, you decide to like use your Q, it actually resets the cooldown timer as well, basically making it last. Uh, you will get it back much later in that case. Hmm, I'm not going to fight that one because otherwise I'm going to take up like a full combo, which is not worth it. We're going to be holding the way for sure. There you go. We hold it. We do not want to touch this wave. This is the port. This is the part in the matchup where we are going to get ahead if we maintain this. We also have a Shavana like pathing top. Hmm. Not too bad.
Okay. We're, we're about to catch, uh, catch him. There you go. So, as mentioned earlier, Aatrox, pretty much what it comes down to when playing the champion, is that you're kiting your opponent. That's pretty much it. And um, it really depends on how far ahead in the game you are as well. Like, if you're, like, level 6, anything beyond level 6, it's going to... Um, it's going to be more fun to play Aatrox. Like, the further you get, the more fun it gets. Because eventually, you're going to get yourself more cooldown reduction as well. Which means that if you hit the Q, you actually get it back up way faster, right? Um, the plan that I have in this game is I want to showcase you guys the Gorge Inker build. In my opinion, this is by far the best build. You have Lethality as well, which means that you're going to be, like, building into Eclipse. But um, in my opinion... You, despite the other options with with uh, with Lethality and stuff, Gorchinker is, in my opinion, the best one. Because you can combine this one with Hydra as well. Basically getting a ton of AoE damage and sustain. An enemy has been slain. It also wouldn't matter as much if you miss a Q by accident. Ooh, not bad. Actually, I managed to hit that one. We're cutting this guy down very hard. But yeah, like the Gorchinker Hydra setup is by far, in my opinion, the best one. Well, he's gonna die. Goodbye. The Renekton matchup is not an easy one. Like, it's not easy. You're gonna have to hit your Qs and hope he's not gonna, like, dash directly into you. Gonna miss that one. Alright. I wanna go for that plate, but... Eh, I'm gonna take it. There you go. I need to go for a fast reset, so I'm going to backport sooner than uh, than I normally do. I want to take that brush. I don't want to take that brush, I mean. Got it. And this one, and that's it. Hey, in short, Prav, thank you for the sub, Prime, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Welcome to the sub family, man. Um... The wave is now like bouncing back into me, which is really good. If you're winning top lane very, very hard, the one thing that you always want to have is like the wave, you know, let it bounce into you, right? That's always what you're looking for. It's gonna go for my plate. Walk away from it. And there appears to be Shenel. I was actually gonna win that stuff, but then the Shen ultimate appears. I think that my Jonah can still probably fix it. He's got no ultimate. He's he's backing right there. Yeah. Good. Very good. If he kills him right there, that's amazing. Wow, he's actually doing no damage. What's that guy building? Oh, he's going AP Shyvana, that's why. I'm more of a fan of AD Shyvana. I don't know if you guys have seen my videos about Shyvana AD that I've been playing in top recently. I feel like I'm like dishing out far more damage than AP Shyvana ever will. Like, again, like AP Shyvana is really good too, but like, I feel like AD just dishes out so much more. Because you also have the damage on your autos. Nice, got it. Yeah, the Shen ultimate was quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Hmm. That's not too bad. Hmm. Well, ah, we're getting shent again once more. Too bad for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, this is why Aatrox is amazing. This is exactly one of those reasons. It's like the things that you can do if you're playing Aatrox.
The only thing that I do have to mention about Aatrox, which is something that you have to get slightly used to, is the um, attack speed, because this game, we are actually not running attack speed instead of the bonus stats. Um, let's go for steel caps here. Um, just to explain what's going on here, um, inside of my bonus stats, I haven't talked about this yet, we are actually running to adaptive. Normally, a lot of people would be going for attack speed when it comes down to Aatrox, because it's going to make the champion feel much more smooth, right? In this case, we don't actually have that. I have two adaptive, because I want the maximum damage out of my short trades, my Qs as well. So we don't have that. So it's going to make Aatrox feel slightly less smooth, but in return gives you more damage. And you can see that back in the gameplay as well. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Oh. Well, not too bad. I think he's baiting for Shen or something. I don't know. Ah, I missed that one. I'll just not use my Q so I can get it back faster. I'll make it drag towards me as well. Oh, he's casting R. Really? <laughs> Another Shen ultimate. Is that how we're going to play this game? Shen ultimate after Shen ultimate. Oh, <laughs> the Shen is like standing right there. What's that Shen doing? He's like casting R on Renekton and then goes AFK? What? Is he trolling on purpose? So you saved him, and then he just stands there. So I guess he probably got tilted or something? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I am absolutely mind blown with like how these guys are playing it currently. Hmm. Whoops. Um, also something worth mentioning, when you're playing Aatrox, this is something that people need to talk about more I feel like. Your E is not just a dash that can position to another direction for your Q, right? Something that you always want to do with Aatrox whenever you get the chance is to use your auto as a reset. Which means that, um, I mean your E as a reset, so uh, that means if you auto attack with Aatrox, so imagine you're auto attacking, I can show you too by the way. If you auto, you can actually E straight up after, and you can hit another auto attack. So you can dish out like two auto attacks at the same time uh, by casting the dash in between. So it resets the auto attack uh, wait waiting time. So you can dish out the next one faster as well. I can show you what I mean, but like, it's a very important mechanic, guys. It's, a, it's something you can't forget. Look, um, that one's going to die and see if I hit the passive. Look. It's like absolutely one of the most important mechanics. The, the faster you can do it, the better. There you go, you see? You can dish out like two autos at the same time. This is absolutely something you want to use all the time with Aatrox. Whenever you can, do it. It's you, you can dish out so much more than normally. It's so much better in my opinion. Than just using it to like move around, so... Let's pick up this one. We're going to be snowballing through jungle camps now. Uh, jungle camps are one of the most important objectives as well as the top laner, because the enemy jungle will fall behind if you take them. Something you absolutely uh, cannot miss. Hmm. It's okay if we take some damage, like, it's all good with me. Impressive. Oh, he's slashing my third Q. That's why he's doing it. All right. Not too bad, man. He'll probably... Uh... He's using all of his combo. Outplay, buddy. You outplay me, I outplay back. That's how we do things. There you go. Nice. Outplaying the outplayer. That's how you do it, guys. 
Love how the Katarina walks top side. Uh, we got Hydra. Nice. We got the combination. The next thing that I always highly encourage you to buy uh, with this build together is has got to be the Sardis Garage. Um, it's situational though. I always recommend Grudge as an item when you're like 1v9ing the game. So it's probably we're going to be doing this game too. But if you're having a more rough game, I would actually encourage to go for Death Stance most of the time. It's got to be the better option. Because it pro provides like both damage and survivability, which is like both things that Aatrox needs, including the ability Haste. You can't go wrong with this, you know? Um, this guy can definitely bait. Yeah, got him. I think we can probably get another catch here. Depends, but... I'm going to pink top lane. I want somebody to go top for me. That would be appreciated. Hmm. As it turns out, this guy's playing it quite safely. Whoops. We're gonna be all ending uh, these two. Unless my teammates aren't prepared. Got him too. Pike got it, which is fine. Too bad, the Katarina outplay all of us. Alright, no problem. We're not quite done yet. I need to get more jungle camps, well. Got it. Renex is chilling topside. I am not able to get inside range anymore after the first Q, so. Again, no problem for me. Um, we're probably just going to go back topside. I'm thinking about getting Death Stance instead of going for Grudge. This is <laughs> pretty much one of the reasons why. There's your answer. Um, let me check here. Oh. So it turns out this guy's are still up here. Hmm. Chan walks away. Hmm. Teleport and balling? That's weird. Really? Is that how I die? To an Astral Ultimate? <laughs> I was about to get the kill on Shen. That's uh, really sad, actually. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna make the decision to go Death Stance here, not the Grudge, because we clearly have enough damage. But Katarina are, is currently the most annoying person right here. We're gonna go Death Stance, and then afterwards we probably go either this item or this item. <clears throat> First, we need some armor. Okay, we're gonna run straight up mid. Slightly worried that Renekton will eventually like I would love a loss because that guy's perma split, uh, splitting, and the, the teammates are of him is currently winning without him, so he's able to do this stuff all day. An absolute nightmare, in my opinion, seeing Katarina players just stomping it. Yeah, he got him. Yeah, I'll take it. Playing as Katarina, getting like 15 kills is never fun, in my opinion. It's always frustrating to play against a Katarina this fed. I hate it. I see more fed Katarinas than like... 
Katarina's inting. It's Katarina players always get kills. Literally. In one way or another. Let's see, I need like 200 more, so we're pretty much getting there. Uh, probably Katarina's back in mid. There will be a team fight because Drake is up. Rectin appears to be back in top lane. Of course, the Katarina doing Katarina things, <laughs> per usual. Especially fun with the Tarek right behind it. Still ahead of Renekton, unfortunately. Can't really fight Drake. Yeah, it looks like we don't our we don't have much of a choice here. We gotta try it out. Renekton is topside, and I believe that the teleport is down. <laughs> this is literally the life of playing against Katarina every single time, man. Every single game I see Katarina getting Pentas. It's so normal. <laughs> she jumps on me, just dishes out like 2,000 damage in like, in literally half a second. I'm still like trying to like fit in my, my, my third Q. She dishes, she dishes out 2,000 damage faster than my Q animation. Like that's how fast she's doing it. I couldn't even like fit in my queue at all. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go for this item. Like we don't have, like in this game, we don't have to burst to kill the Katarina. This this guy can just jump in and just like hit all five. The only the only type of like instant CC we have is Sin is Syndra. Which gets obliterated. Enemy double kill. That's kind of what worries me the entire game. Like, Renekton is not playing the game. Renekton is out of the game. Katarina is just playing the game by herself at the moment. Can't go mid. If I go mid, I'm gonna die. It's better if I'm up here. Oh, my whole team is dead. Got it. Let's go blue. Blue is taken. I want to stay for more, but I can't get the tower down as quickly. Mm, that's Shen. We have to try and make plays around the side lanes. That's pretty much it. We can't we can't go for team fights. Katarina will just kill everybody again. This guy has become quite tanky. Normally, like killing off a Shen is not that hard because normally you'd have grudge at this point, but this game we don't have that. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna die. Yep. We got perma slowed by the Shen with Iceborne. Just not getting out anymore. I should have finished out my backport, but I saw the Astro showing up and then Tarek showing up afterwards. Oh man, frustrating game, bro. Like, I'm not struggling against anybody. This this guy, this guy, this guy, they all don't matter. I can fight these guys very easily. But this guy has been like... 
farming the entire game. It's impossible to go for team fights because of Katarina. If we go to the side lanes, we can kill everybody. But like, if we get chased down by an Iceborne Shen while like two other people are trying to catch up, we can't really do anything. Wait, I'm staying out of vision so that Renekton will walk up eventually. Yeah, now we can do. Oh, let the fun begin. Hey, this guy is hinting it. Hmm. Not too bad. Shen is top side. We're gonna take. Uh, we're definitely taking like one more wave for sure. Oh, we're gonna get Kaida down, man. But we should be okay because he will get inside Q range all day. Okay. Still is there, yeah. This will kind of depend. I can buy my item now, so I'm I'm backing off regardless. I can fight the Ezreal, but he'll probably just play it very safe. I'd rather have my item at this point and just shove mid lane. There is a darkness in my heart. Derek is top side. Drake is about to spawn. Shen is still dead. I have Moth in Mortius, but that guy is still doing too much damage. Like, it's not even close. I have no ultimate, unfortunately. <laughs> that guy is starting. <laughs> Welcome to the life of Tarek. These guys are way too strong. Let's take this wave. Kinda afraid that I might eventually still need to get Grudge to kill everybody, including the Katarina. I think I'll probably end up building it. I was thinking about getting a GA, but... Seeing that Tarek right now, it's not quite a good idea. Not really. Somebody will move topside for, you know, for me doing this. Yeah, it's Katarina. Let's get Grudge. I'm specifically building Last Whisper. That will definitely, uh, definitely help. We need the Shyvana to be pushing mid right now. We just have to go and try for a team fight. If we see Renekton on the side lane, we just gotta try it. There you go. <laughs> Rising down to my team. Hmm. hmm. Too bad my whole team died by Katarina pretty much instant and she now has 29 kills. All right. <laughs> this game is truly tilting because the Renekton, like basically I wrote down to my team, if Renekton appears on the side lane, we're going to go in five against four. Like that would be the most ideal way to play at the team fight. So what happens, Renekton is on the side lane, my team go in and they all die by Katarina pretty much instant. Like not even a chance. So, yeah. 
That was fun. Because we played that very well. But Katarina is so fat that it doesn't matter much anymore. Uh, we're still... Uh, I think it's probably done. Or no? Okay. Not too bad. We need like 500. Wait, I'm gonna grab this wave here. Katarina will probably try and 1v9 it. The, <laughs> that's... I wonder if she's gonna try. I wonder if Katarina will try this out. Really curious. Pick up this one. Okay. Let's get my grudge. We're full build too. Only thing is, oh, nice. We need to try something with Katarina being dead here. Yeah, like I suspected. I told you. I told you about it, man. Katarina was gonna go in, she would die, and then we can just go like for a team fight and we're just chilling. Like killing all of them. Nice. Exactly like I suspected. This might actually be. This might turn into a win. Yeah. Oh, this might turn into a win right now. Oh, it's exactly like I suspected would happen. She actually went in 1v9. And we literally win the game because of it. Katarina players, man. Like, for real. <laughs> Katarina players. Always 1v9, then lose. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, Aatrox Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.